Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid and I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement. If you're one of my community, welcome back. If you're new, check this video out, think about it if you like it, if you want to follow us going paperless and then subscribe, okay? So today I have something exciting, as usual. It's all about handwriting and Microsoft. So what this is, we will find out, just stay tuned. Okay, let's just dive into it, what we have today. Today, I have some news for you. Microsoft actually added handwriting to their Office apps. And if you know me out there, I'm not a big fan of OneNote. For simple reasons, you have to log in, you have only one drive to synchronize, and uh, I don't like this, yeah? However, they added the handwriting to Word. We are in Word here now, and uh, the iPad Pro version, but it's now the same on the iPad, and if you open a new document, you see it already, uh, we can write, you know, um, and as you are used to it in Word, you can do everything you need in there and so on. But what is there now is the Draw tab. And if you go to the Draw tab, you're choosing what color you have want, and then you could just start drawing. And I think that's amazing. Yeah, you can even highlight the text. Yeah, if you have some text in there. Um, you can also draw with uh, the pencil. And you even can shade, yeah? With your Apple Pencil. So that's really nice. But what happens now, it actually stays in place, see? And this is just what it is, you know? If you move things around, um, we can move the whole thing. It moves along, yeah? And if I write something in between, like this, again, we can go in there, enter it. Go in there, enter it. And that's really amazing. Because, you know, uh, the only way to do this well, of course, you can do it in all the note-taking apps. You can use uh, typing te type text with your keyboard, combined with your drawing and so on. This means if you write something down in, in good notes or so, you can't add space. So in this case, you can add space, yeah? And that's just amazing. Once you added the space, you can just draw in between, and that's good. But now I show you even something more exciting what you can do with the office and handwriting. Because if we switch to Excel, guess what? Of course you have a handwriting, uh, you have a drawing tab there as well. And now we just zoom in into a cell here and we write something down. So just let's make this really small here. And then we write something down like test. And we write something here, one, two, three, four, and so on. And now, guess what? We just uh, jump around from cell to cell, going to this cell, hold it, move it. I'm hearing the what? It's actually the case. You can write something in cells and then move the cell around. I am not sure. If many of you are aware of this, what this actually means, because now you can just make your own calendars, you know? You can just write down here like uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on, and then you write, scribble something in these, and then you say, oh no, wait, uh, I want to do this on Tuesday. I just move it over here. And there you go. You see what I mean? You see what I'm talking about? It's amazing. I think that's that's really a game changer here because now you have something really dynamic and you can build up your own um, tables there and so on. And I think that's that's really, really amazing. So thank you Microsoft for adding this. That's something I have to admit you did a good job there because also the, the feeling of the handwriting, it is fluid, it is on spot, you know, there's no latency whatsoever. You even added some glitter um, 
um, glitter pencils here so you see we got gold and so on well i'm sure many of you didn't notice but uh, these features here so what happens if we go now in here and try to drag this around it will stay there because it recognizes that we actually have something in the cell to move around i really like it and um yeah the thing is the downside is you have to pay for it yeah you have to pay but you can download the apps for free, but to edit something and to save stuff and so on, you have to pay a monthly subscription. It is luckily uh, very low and you can use the whole Office uh, 365 package and you can also use it on your PC and all over the place. So I think it is actually worth it if you are using the 365 anyway and you want to have the word on your PC and so on. Okay, stay tuned. Give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Um, if you don't like the feature, please don't make a thumbs down. Just leave a comment and we discuss this uh, also on my Facebook group. Just jump over and start the discussion. We are all there to go paperless together. Stay tuned. Hey, no, no, no.